Hello again, I'm Jack Rickard, and this is our next electric car uh, project, a 2009 Mini Cooper Clubman. The Mini Cooper was born out of the British Motor Car Corporation in 1959. They came out with a very economical model called the Mini. In uh, 1960, racing legend John Cooper took a shine to the car, got involved, and they called it, uh, since then, the Mini Cooper. Uh, he actually uh, raced uh, Coopers for a while. In 2002, um, BMW took over the Mini Cooper label. It's still manufactured in London, but uh, we're starting to see some of the effects of German engineering on the car, and we very much like what we see. In 2009, they introduced the Clubman version, which is, has a three inch longer wheelbase and a nine inch longer body with a back door that opens almost like a little mini SUV. Uh, the car has developed quite a cult following among a number of people. In fact, there's uh, racing clubs for minis. Uh, there's people who restore minis, uh, but we think they've really brought it to kind of a state of the art. The car has a lot of the latest in um, electronics and control features, including an electronic variable speed or variable ratio, rack and pinion steering, um, ABS braking systems, um, the latest Bluetooth to hook up your Apple iPhone, and of course heated seats, a climate control, all the modern accoutrements of a modern technology-driven automobile. This is somewhat in contrast to what we did with the Porsche Speedster, which was a fairly simple 1957 technology. With the uh, Cooper, what we hope to do is introduce you to a number of the concepts of things that you'll run into in dealing with um, uh, converting a more modern car and uh, in many ways a more desirable car to um, electric drive. The Mini Cooper is a good candidate in that it's uh, quite lightweight and very aerodynamic. This car gets about 27 miles per gallon in the city and about 37 uh, on the highway. In actually driving it around, uh, we were seeing 31 or 32 even in a small town. Uh, an efficient gasoline car, uh, if you remove the internal combustion engine and install an electric motor, you have a more efficient uh, electric car. Um, but we look for uh, fuel efficiency and aerodynamics in donor cars. The Clubman is kind of interesting. Right now, uh, BMW is doing a, a test series of 500 of their S model. Um, we wanted a little more room for batteries uh, and uh, we're not quite up to uh, BMW design engineers uh, here in Jack's garage. So by having the nine inches additional space inside, uh, we think we can do the car justice with regards to range and performance. Um, the Mini Cooper um, it, it has quite a bit of room in the back and I'll show you here in a minute the, the back doors and, um, and some of the access in it. Um, we're going to convert this not only using um, electric uh, air conditioner compressors, electric uh, water heaters to maintain the environmental control, uh, pumps for the uh, power brakes, um, but we're also going to go to a little bit different power plant in this one. Um, on, in the Beck Speedster, we used a pretty basic, although a very strong, net gain Warp 9 motor. That's a DC series motor, fairly simple design. In um, the case of the Mini, and really we think the future of electric cars belong to AC induction motors with three-phase controllers. This involves quite a bit more electronics in the controller, but it offers a number of advantages. The AC motors are slightly more efficient, 
but they also allow things like regeneration and a lot of uh, instrumentation opportunities uh, that are a little more difficult with the uh, DC motor. So we're going from a basic car and a basic EV uh, conversion to a much more advanced uh, car and engineering and technology sense and also a more advanced uh, drivetrain with that. We think the result will be a no compromises EV conversion that has all the creature comforts that you're accustomed to in a car that you might use as a daily driver. Air conditioning, heat, um, heated seats, power mirrors, windshield wipers, uh, defoggers, um, the, the entire gamut. And we're going to try to make this into an electric car with a modern power plant that'll be uh, on par with what uh, BMW is doing. And we'll see how we do compared to them. It'll be interesting. We should get done just about the time they're taking all theirs back into the, from the lease program in order to shred them. Converting an EV is indeed a process of small problem solving. Uh, most of them are not insurmountable. All of them uh, look a little bit like problems. And I think, you know, one of the things to do is not get in a hurry. Uh, don't develop a whole lot of anxiety over it. Take each problem um, in turn and simply work it off uh, as best you can. Um, I think you'll find along the way uh, that you have more skills than you think you have. Um, and uh, hopefully with the, the uh, help of the videos, you'll kind of see how we addressed uh, many of the things that you're going to run into. So let's take a look around the car and uh, see what we've got to work with here and then we'll get started.